Hey, thanks for joining me on this episode of Gullah Talk because we been ya and we ain't going no way. That's one of my favorite sayings. You will find it on the back of my Gullah Geechee book. And when I do any presentations, I always pretty much end with, look, because Gullah Geechee been ya and we ain't going no way. Because what I believe is when we hear we been ya, we automatically know that something has been here for a long time. And I believe that Gullah Geechee has been and it's not going anywhere. But also when you see these words, we binya, it also means something to us as Gullah Geechee people related to our identity. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Gullah Geechee people's self identity and also how we identify those who may not be within our Gullah Geechee culture. So let's start with my favorite, which is we binya. When we talk about a banya, a banya is a person who is Gullah uh, is a native Gullah They speak the language, they eat the food, they uh, participate in everything that we know to be Gullah culture and they own it. So when you ask them if they are Gullah they say, yeah, I a banya, I a banya. It is a way that we identify ourselves. Now, if any of you remember and have watched Gullah Gullah Island, and I know you have because some of you commented on my last video about it, but there was a frog and they called him Binya Binya Pollywog. But why did they call him that? Because he was a frog. He was native to those waters out there in Beaufort. And so they called him Binya Binya. That was not by accident. Shout out to Ron and Natalie Days for that amazing show that introduced the world to Gullah um, culture and Gullah people. But that was by design because when you hear Binya Binya and you hear somebody say, I am a Binya, it means that they are native Gullah Geechee and they own that identity. Now, on the flip side, what about those people? who are not native Gullah Geechee. Well, what do we call them? Well, we call them Kamiyas. Those are the people who have migrated into traditionally Gullah Geechee areas, which are in the states of North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. And as we know, given latest reports, South Carolina is one of the fastest growing states in the U.S. and Charleston also is one of the fastest growing cities in South Carolina and across the country. Now we are not surprised. South Carolina is gorgeous. The weather is great. Charleston is beautiful. The food is good. There's so much rich culture for a lot of people. But what we also want people to, to realize is when you move in here, um, those of us who are Benyas do identify you as a Kamiya, all right? And it's not a bad thing. I don't want anybody to feel like it's bad because it's not. But when we talk about how we identify people within our culture and what language we use to identify people, this is what, what it is. If you have been here for a long time, you were born and raised here, then you are a Banya. But if you just came here, you just moved here and you are not Gullah we will refer to you as a Kamiya. All right. So those are two distinctions. Now, there is one more distinction that I want to talk about because I don't feel like it's discussed enough. Um, there's a subset of people who in the in 1910, from about 1910 to about 1970, engaged in what scholars call the Great Migration, where Black Southerners migrated from the Jim Crow South to up north states like New York, Chicago, Detroit, Pittsburgh, all of those places to find work and to hopefully find a better place to raise their families, better opportunities for them to make money and raise their families. Well, when those Southerners, many of them who were Gullah Geechee, migrated up north, they left land and houses here within several Gullah Geechee communities. And recently, as people have retired and decided to come on back home, I like to think about these people and somebody said, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a great way to describe them as a comeback, yeah. 
Meaning, I, I've been here, I've been born here, I've been raised here, but then I moved away and I come back here. And so what we're seeing is as that generation is retiring, they're coming back to reclaim the homes of their parents, the land of their parents, and in many ways to reconnect to their Gullah Geechee identity. All right. So we have three major categories that we covered today in this video. We have a Benya, we got a Kamya, and we got a Kambakya. Which one are you? Let me know in the comments how you identify uh, based on the descriptions that I gave you for how Gullah Geechee people talk about identity um, within our Gullah Geechee reasons. This has been so fun. Um, it's always a pleasure speaking with you all. I hope you will continue to join me every Tuesday as I drop a new Gullah Talk video. I have some great things in store. You don't want to miss it. So be sure that you like this video and you subscribe so you do not miss the next one that's coming up. All right, now remember, Galagichi Banya ain't going away. All right, see ya.